Hey guys, so today's video is a get ready with me for the TV BAFTAs which I went to last night but before I get into the video I wanted to share a really quick exciting announcement with you all. When I did my book tour back in February a lot of you were tweeting me and messaging me saying that you're based in the north of England or Scotland and you couldn't make it to my book tour so we've added on an extra two dates and I'm actually going to be coming to the Waterstones at the Metro Centre in Gateshead on the 30th of May and to Waterstones in Glasgow on the 31st of May. I'm gonna pop all the info in terms of times and where they are, etc. how to get to them in the info bar below. And as well as those two dates, I'm really excited to announce as well that I'm collaborating with Urban Decay and doing a meetup in their central London store on the 29th of May. So I have three book signings and or meetups going on at the end of May. Like I said before, I'm gonna pop all of the info in the info bar below and I'm super excited to meet some of you. Let me know on Twitter or in the comments if you're planning on coming. So excited to see you there and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I did when I got to my beautiful hotel room in London where I was getting ready was to run a bath because I had on my saint one hour tan. I actually left this on for three hours because I wanted a darker tan but it is amazing for events because if you need a last minute tan and you have not planned ahead, it develops really quickly and it leaves you with a really nice color. And then once I was out of the bath, I also used my Bioderma just to make sure I didn't have any tan residue or scraps of makeup left on my face. And then I painted my nails. I actually used the Ciate O-Shine top and base coat, which come as a pair and I don't think these are out yet, but they're really cool because they fuse together and leave you with a really beautiful kind of thick gel finish. Then the colour that I used was a Chanel colour from their spring summer collection called Tenderly and this is really nice because it builds up into a darker kind of mauvey colour I think it's really unusual. So I topped it off with the top coat and then headed downstairs to get my hair done. I was super lucky and I got the lovely jewels from Mark Hill to do my hair so I didn't have to worry about doing my hair myself. He basically put in some rollers in the top section for some volume and then he went ahead and curled the underneath sections using the Rockstar curling tongs and the Worker Girl heat protect spray. Then he pinned these um, up so that they were nice and bouncy and then he went ahead and pulled the rollers out, back combed a few sections to give me some height in my crown and then curled the sections that had been in rollers before. And this look was actually inspired by one that I seen Blake Lively wearing in her new film, Age of Adeline, which I had seen this week and I absolutely loved it. It's a kind of vintage, side-swept look and my dress is also one-shouldered, so I really wanted it to be kind of the opposite shoulder to balance the look. Then he finished it off using the fabulous finish hairspray from Mark Hill and that is it for the hair. So after my hair was finished, I headed back upstairs to my hotel room to do my makeup. And starting off with base, I used the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonshine. And I actually use this all over my face in place of primer. And I really like it, it looks kind of scary to start off with, but once you've got your foundation on, it kind of covers it up. Then I used my Hourglass Illusion Tinted Moisturizer in Warm Ivory as my first layer of foundation. And then I put my Chanel Vitaly Mere Aqua Foundation on over the top. I use quite thin layers of both but kind of build them up. I really like the finish of both of these and it was the first time I'd actually ever used them together but it did work and it looked really really nice. So I blended these in using my Sephora 42 brush which is my favourite and then used my L'Oreal True Match Concealer under my eyes and just to cover up any redness or small blemishes that I had on my skin. And then I also used my Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour Stick and this is in 01 curvy contour which I hate the name but it's actually really good it's a cream kind of bronzer contour stick and I basically draw on under my cheekbones and then just blend it in with my fingers for a little bit of contouring I'm not crazy on contouring I just like to do it a little bit under my cheekbones to make my face look a little bit thinner then for blush I use my physician's formula Moroccan blush and this is in natural it's really not natural it's like an actual pinky blush but I really really like it so I use that with my Hakuhodo blush brush and then I use my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. This is the Dreamy Glow highlighter. It actually looks really dark in the camera. I'm not entirely sure why, but it's actually not dark. And I just use this on the top of my cheekbones and my brow bones. Then for a powder, I used one from my Kat Von D Shade Light palette, which is meant for contouring, but actually I just forgot my powder. So I use the medium color as a powder. 
Then for my eyes, I use my Bobbi Brown Cream Eyeshadow Stick in Golden Bronze. And I really, really love this because it's so simple to use and it works really well as a primer or a base. If you don't want to use a primer and then a base colour and then kind of build it up and up, this works really well and it stays on for ages. So I just draw it all over the eyelid and then blend it in. And then I use my collection Nude Grey Eyeshadow Palette. These are super cheap. They're like $3.99. I use mine all the time. They're amazing. So I use the lighter kind of golden colour on the inner half of my eyelids. And then I also used the darker kind of matte chocolate brown in the outer corner and the crease just to create a little bit of a contour. And then I also took a little bit underneath my eyes too. After that I use my Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner and this seriously does stay all day. It's the best eyeliner. It lasts such a long time so it's perfect for an event where you know you're going to be out all night. For mascara I use my YSL Effect Faux Seal Mascara. I love this. I've loved it for years. I always come back to it. And then I also wore some fake eyelashes. I actually cut these to be kind of three quarter half lashes so they're a little bit more subtle. They were some of my favourite eyelid ones and I just kind of customised them. So I stuck those on and they look really nice. I really love three quarter lashes. I think they just look a little bit more subtle and pretty and fluttery. Then for eyebrows I didn't really need to do much because I've just had my HD brow treatment but I use a little bit of my Illamasqua brow gel in Strike just to fill in any gaps or sparse areas. And then I also used my MAC brow set just to make sure everything stayed in place. And then finally for lips, I wanted to go for a more vampy lip colour, so I picked out one that I haven't actually used in a while. This is from Chanel, it's Limpatient, which is one of their matte finishes. So I put this on and then I decided that it's maybe a little bit too purple. Um, there's kind of berry and purple, and I feel like this goes a little bit too far on the side of the purple. So I actually mixed it in with a bit of Max Ruby Woo, which I'm doing now, and I really, really love the colour that it created. And then I popped on my earrings and my perfume, which is my Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which I love. I got so many compliments on it last night as well, actually. And then this is my outfit for the evening, which I was actually a little bit nervous about because I went for short. But once I got to the event, actually a lot of people were wearing short dresses, so I was really, really happy with my outfit in the end. I love it. It's kind of a fun twist on a little black dress. It's a little bit more interesting than wearing all black and I just think it's really subtle and pretty. So the dress itself is from Halston Heritage. If you guys have been following me for a while you'll know why I love it. I'm obsessed with the kind of pink blue ombre duochrome look and I love the detail on the top as well and the one shoulder detail. I love it. And then my clutch bag is just a plain black quilted clutch from Karl Lagerfeld and I actually ordered the clutch and the dress from veryexclusive.co.uk and a little close up of my finished nails as well. I think this colour goes really nicely with the dress. My earrings were borrowed from Carrot and I think they are gorgeous. I adore them. And then my shoes are my Valentino rock studs. These were actually a huge splurge when I bought them but I've worn them so much. I think they're so versatile and they're actually pretty comfy too. I've got the all black matte version. And that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you like my outfit. Thank you so much to Mark Hill for inviting me along to the BAFTAs with them and doing my hair as well. I actually didn't get a full length shot of my dress because we left in such a hurry, but I'm going to insert some pictures at the end so you guys can see a little bit of the red carpet action too. I'll see you again next time guys. Bye! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about products that I've used up. Most of the time, if I finish products, it means that I really, really like them. The nature of what I do here on YouTube means that I try out a lot of